dear students we are going to discuss how to draw a 2d diagram by using your drawing and modify commands first i am going to insert a sample image for your reference for that i am going to use your command image attach and i have selected your image open i just selected a snow path over here and my screen dimension will be 0.8 click okay i just placed your diagram over here for your reference see students what i am going to do is i am going to draw only a first half of your diagram and i am going to get your rear half by mirroring it okay so first i have to draw your center line for that just click it over here you check whether your center line has been available see students here i have only three types of your line that is your by layer by block and continuous so i need your center line for that i just click your other then a tab will be opening a dialog box over here just click load and just roll your mouse and select center 2 I am going to use center 2, it has been up to you what center line you are going to select it. Okay, then click OK. You can see the center line has been added over here. Similarly, if there is any need for a dashed lines, so you have to select your dashed 2. See automatically your lines will be selected over here, it has been available over here. Then click OK. So first what I am going to do is I am going to just select your center line. Then I just click your line button over here. I made your first click and I made my second click. Then I pressed your escape button. Now you can see center line has been drawn. So once again I change it to your by layer. So what I am going to do is I am going to draw only half of your diagram. So automatically see here they are given your length has been 75. So we are going to divide it by 2. 75 divided by 2 is 37.5. So I just made a click your line over here. I made my first click 37.5 enter on your y direction it is 15 enter see already they are given it is totally 120 so 120 divided by 2 it is 60 minus we have already done 37.5 so it is 22.5 i have just entered 22.5 okay next i don't know this inclination value so i just pressed your escape next the total height of your object has been 45 over here 30 and 15 so it is totally 90 i have just clicked once again your line I made my first click and I move to your y direction 90. Enter. See here the radius of your circle is 35. So I just entered 35. Okay, next the bit dimension has been not known to me. So total is 130 minus divided by 2. So it will be 65 minus 35. Already 20 has been over there. So automatically minus 20. So it will be 10. So I just entered it as 10. Enter. On your y direction it is 20 enter once again on your x direction is 20 enter on your y direction see over here already it is 20 over here and it has been 45 over here so i have to just enter 25 okay next on your x direction once again 25 then i have to just join it over here clear students i have drawn your uh, first half of your image i have just pressed your escape now i am going to delete your unwanted lines so this is your first line i have just deleted it and this is my second line, I have just deleted it. Next, I am going to use your mirror command students uh, for mirroring your object. First, I just made a click over here and I made a click. See, all your objects have been selected. So, this line has been not selected. So, I just selected that line also. Then, I clicked your mirror. It will be asking your first point of your mirror. So, this is your first point of your mirror line. And I am going to select your second point of your mirror line. It will be asking to erase your source object. So, I am going to say no. Enter. See, your half of your image has been mirrored on your about your axis line next i have to draw once again your axis line so for that i'm going to just click your center over here and just click your line first point and second point then escape next i have to draw a circle of radius 35 i just click center radius i just selected a center point your radius has been 35 enter okay See students, it has been center line. So I just selected it and I change it to your by layer. Automatically it becomes continuous line. Clear? Then press escape. Next, I am going to trim it. What I have to do is I have to trim your circle. So for that, what I have to do? Select your trim. I just selected your edges which has been unwanted. So you can see it has been converted into semicircle. After completing it, just press escape. Next, I have to draw a circle. So, for center point, it has been 30 mm from your base point. So, I just clicked your circle or line over here. 
I made my first click, move to your y direction and I have just entered 30. Okay. So I made my second click. So there is no 9 dimension student, this since it is an access line. Okay. Then once again, I just press escape. I need this line to on the rear side also. For that I am going to use your mirror command. Just to mirror, select the line, enter, select your mirror line. I just made a second click. So no to source your object. I will be just clicking your N. Enter. So I got my axis. Next I have to draw your circle. The diameter of your circle is 40. So automatically your radius will be 20. I just click your circle center point and I have entered your radius as 20. See it is also center line. I have to convert it into a continuous line. I just selected it and I changed to by layer. Okay. Now after completing it, what I have to do is, I have to change into your thickness. So I have to change your thickness. For that, I just selected your first click, second click. I selected all your objects. This vertical line will be missing. So I selected that also. I selected your thickness as 0.35. Okay. I selected your thickness as 0.35. Okay. Then press your escape button. Now you can see your image has been darkened. Okay, thick lines. So next I have to mark your dimensions. So before you start your dimension, you are going to set your dimension style. So for that your command will be dim style. Enter. A dialog box will be opening. Click modify. Over here, select symbols and arrows tab. Change your arrow size as 4. Then select your text tab. Change your text height as 5. Okay, then your primary units are 0, 0.00 and click OK. Then close your dialog box. Next, I have to mark your dimensions. Just click your linear over here. Select your first point and second point. You can see your dimension has been 75. Similarly, I am going to mark your second set of your dimension. That has been 120. Clear? Your next step. I have for my vertical dimensions. So, first point it has been 30. So for a remaining, I have to get your parallel to this. So for that, I made my first click and second click. See, I am just joining at your into point of here. So now you can see both the dimensions are on your same line. Now I have to mark for your x directions on your top. So this point to this point, it has been 130. Okay. See students, uh, when you see your dimensions, you can see your dimensions cannot be visible because of this axis line. For that, I have just clicked your trim over here. I just trimmed your axis line. So now your dimensions will be bit clearly visible. Okay. Next, after completing your trim, I have just pressed your escape. Now I am going to mark your dimensions. Okay. Once again, linear from this point to this point, it is 20. Similarly, on your y directions, first point to second point, 20. I just made a click over here. Next, once again, linear. This point to this point. Since it is the same line, I have to mark it over here. Okay, next I have to mark your axis height. For that, once again, linear from this point to this point. It has been 30. Next, I have to mark your radius. For that, just click it over here. You will be getting your radius. Just click it. Select your curve. Automatically, it will be giving your radius of your curve. Next, I have to mark your diameter of your circle. For that, I just clicked over here and I have selected your diameter. Just select your circle. It will be giving your diameter. Okay. After completing it, I just entered a zoom. For shortcut for your zoom is Z, enter, A, enter. Now, I completed one diagram for your reference students. Now, I am going to insert an another diagram where I am going to explain about your fillet and chamfer. Okay. For that, what I am going to do is I am going to get your other image for your reference. I just selected this image and deleted it and I used your image attach command to get your other diagram. Once again, I am going to select no path. Your dimension will be 0 0.8. Okay. I just made a click. See students, what I am going to do is, I am going to use your fillet over here to change this radius and chamfer to over here. Okay. I am not going to use your incline line and all. I am going to use your fillet and radius only. Okay. So first, 
I just starting from this point. So first I just click your line. First click 45 enter on an x direction it is 10 enter y direction 10 enter once again x direction 10 enter y direction it is 10 enter so on your x direction it is 45 plus your radius 15 so automatically 60 your total height is 65 enter then once again I just closed your dimension then I have just pressed your escape see students now I am going to use your fillet command to fill at this radius as 15 and chamfer command to do this chamfer distance as 8 8 ok for your reference what I am going to do I just zoomed it I just selected fillet it is asking you to select your first point I just selected your first line and I am going to enter your radius R enter my fillet radius is 15 enter it will be asking you to select your second line I just selected it automatically your fillet has been done next I am going to use your chamfer I just clicked over here and select a chamfer it will be asking you to select your first line I just selected it it will be asking your distance I am going to use your distance method only D enter your first line distance is 8 your second line distance is also 8 enter and I just selected your second line now you can see chamfer has been done ok next what I have to do is I have to use this slot students so it has been 25 already I marked over here 8 over here so I have to take 17 so I just taken 17 from here 25 your slot thickness is 5 enter and 25 enter then press escape see students I have to trim this edges so for that I am going to use a trim and I just clicked it escape so I have trimmed it ok next to what I have to do is I have to draw a circle the radius of your circle is 10 and it has been 25 mm in x axis and 20 mm in y axis so what I have to do is I have to just change it to center line I just clicked over here I change to center I just click the line over here move on your x direction 25 enter I just made a click escape once again I just clicked over here on your y direction to 20 enter I just moved it and just made a click escape now I have to change into by layer I have selected a circle your radius has been 10 so I just entered your radius as 10 ok now I have to make it as thick line so first click over here second click over here so what I have to do is I am going to change your thickness as 0.35 ok next I have to mark your dimension students since I have already set your dimensions so what I have to do is I have to just use your I am not doing any set your dim style command because it has been already set up. so I am going to just get your dimensions only linear first point and I just made my second point so it has been 60 then once again linear first point second point 45 linear first point second point since it will be same line I just made a click on your into mark once again linear first point second point I made it ok similarly on your y direction also so first point second point it has been 10 similarly over here on your top 72 over here it has been 8 we have not properly selected it zoom it and select properly first point second point Okay, once again linear first point second point then the this distance we have not selected properly so just click linear so you can see I have not placed correctly so what I have to do is I have just deleted it once again I just click the linear first point second point see now everything is on a same line next time I am going to go for slot first point second point 5 next I have to mark your radius students so for that what I am going to do is I am just clicked over here and selected radius so I just selected your arc you will be getting a radius as 15 similarly I am going to get your diameter 
for that i've just clicked over here and got your diameter and i just clicked your diameter okay after completing it i'm going to use a command zoom enter a enter so i just deleted uh, this image once again z enter a enter now i have drawn your 2d diagram by using your simple draw and modify commands thank you all students we'll be meeting in your other lectures thank you all